Welcome back to part two for the hydroponic tower build. Today we're going to paint the pipe, attach the collars, and then attach the pipe to the five gallon buckets with the threaded rods. First things first, let's paint it black. I've got my tower all painted and it's now dry. The next step is to silicone the cup collars. We're going to attach the cup collars with aquarium grade silicone. Attaching the cups is actually very simple. All you need to do is dab a bead of silicone around the cup holder here and then attach to the pipe over the hole. Once you've got your silicone on, all you have to do is attach it to the pipe like so. You want the half round piece to be pointing upwards. It should sit snugly around the pipe like so and the silicone will hold it in place. I've got five colors to attach to the pipe. It's going to be two rows of the same color going down the pipe. So I'm just going to work my way down this section here and attach the different colors. So first row of white, there'll be three on each side. Second row of white, now let's move on to the next color here. Just repeat the same process all the way down the pipe with our different colors. Two rows are white, these two rows are baby blue, darker blue, teal, and purple. See where I'm going with the pattern and how I'm placing them. Did I mention this is a frozen theme tower for my daughter? I think she'll be pretty excited. All you have to do is repeat the process that I just showed you till all the cups are filled up. Once all your cups are attached, you're going to end up with a staggered pattern of cup holders like so. The next step is to mount the pipe into the bucket with our threaded rods. So we're going to use a drill with a 3 8 drill bit, something to mark the pipe and the bucket, some threaded rods, I'm using 3 8 cut to a foot, nuts, washers, and I've got a spacer to put under the pipe because you don't want the pipe sitting flush to the bottom of the bucket because you need to run your hose through there after. I've got my spacer at the bottom of the bucket and my pipe is sitting on it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to drill through the bucket and through the pipe and right through to the other side and then we're going to insert these threaded rods and we're going to attach them with these nuts and uh, washers here. And we're going to do that three times. We're going to do that here, here, and over here. Once you've got your hole drilled through the bucket and through your pipe, and right through the other side, you insert your threaded rod right through it and attach it with the bolts. I recommend getting a second pair of hands just to hold the tower while you're drilling your hole through and inserting the rod because it's a little tough and sometimes a little tricky to uh, hold straight. Once you've got your first rod inserted and secured with nuts, you can proceed to drill your second hole just below the where you drilled the first one right through again and do the same thing. Then just secure your threaded rods with a washer and a nut. And there we go. We've got all three of our rods attached through the pipe and around the bucket, and they're all fastened with nuts and washers. Our tower free stands in the bucket, and once the bucket's filled with water, it's very, very stable. So the next step is to install the water pump, the hose, and the diverter. But that'll be in part three. Stay tuned tomorrow.